Well, hello again. We are back from the Convergence Conference, and we're back from another trip, too, to Wisconsin to see a camp where I used to work, Gunny Rock Camp. It was an awesome place. And I'm about to go on another trip to Salt Lake City for the Healing ALS Conference. I'm so excited. So, let me give you a quick rundown of what's been going on. So, first off, that conference in Oklahoma was very encouraging to me. I got to meet some friends that I met through these videos and had a very good time just getting to know them better. Um, that was so much fun. They had encouraging as well. Um, I also got to meet new friends at the conference. Uh, a lot of people prayed for me. Julia, Julie, I know there were tons of other people. Uh, even one of the speakers of the conference, Jack Deere, took the time to come to me and pray for me because a friend of mine asked. Yes, I really appreciate that. that that type of humility showed by the uh, leaders of the conference that they would take the time and the effort to come to sp specifically pray for me uh, meant a lot to me. That doesn't happen to every, every healing conference. I know. Uh, yet. I was greatly encouraged by the prayers. And God is doing his good work in me. I did not get out of my wheelchair. I am not healed yet. But I trust in God and his timing. The worship. It was absolutely incredible. Oh. <laughs> I used to lead worship, so that's one thing I really enjoyed. I was super blessed by that. Mm -hmm. Also just soaking, soaking in the good teaching was really encouraging to me. So, we were back for a week, and then we went out to Wisconsin after, after that to the camp where I used to work with horses. Kids got to ride the horses and do a million different things. Fully blessed by the people up there. Uh, great to see some old, pip, old friends and what a mentor of mine who I have in respect. I did also see that while I was there, I was, we forgot to bring my big light therapy, the juve, that, that's the bread, Jake, oh, me, me, I think, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure I was noticeably weaker. I'm not able to do some things I could do when I was here. And then when I came back, I started using it. I felt stronger again. So, I don't think that the light's a full cure. But I do think it does help give the neurons some support. I guess to help me with that ATP production. To the cytochrome deoxidase. It must do something. Something. So our community lately has been incredibly supportive of us. 
Go church or friends. Go. Yes. Because I'm new or friends of ours. We've been blessed with a trip to, to Heavy Rock. That was a gift. Blessed with clothes. People fixing up our house. Blessed with family photos. We can't say thank you enough. I don't. I know that not every family or person with ALS has this kind of help. And I know how helpful it is. Go. So, I need to research it more, but I know that there are a few organizations that you can get help from. The... The Steve Gleason Foundation. The ALS. The ALS Association. I know there's more. But if you need help, please, please look for it. Because so, there are some places that could give you help. But... Uh, Thursday, on Thursday, I fly out to Salt Lake City with two of my friends to attend the Healing ALS Conference. I cannot tell you how excited I am to see people who have actually reversed their ALS. It's a comet, but it happens. Well, works for one person, might not work for another, but still, it's something to be studied and talked about, not ignored. So I'm excited to be encouraged by talking with these people and learning from them and seeing people I've only met online again. Yeah, talking with people with ALS who are very open to alternative treatments or experiment, experimental treatments. Possibly my next video will be a video specifically on medicinal cannabis and it will be geared toward the people of South Dakota so all you friends out here watching you're more than welcome to watch that video but it will be geared toward South Dakotans so and I will Totally ask anyone with ALS who has tried cannabis to comment on it so we could get their thoughts. Or get any South Dakotans with pers pers perspectives, perspectives that they want to share. I don't expect everyone to agree with me. But that's okay, I just want to start dialogue. So, uh, I guess the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is just some encourage encouragement for the Bible again. Gross. Romans 12. <laughs> I love how that chapter ends with do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Death is evil. Sickness is evil. Seat. Satan, Satan, mm. Satan came to kill, to steal, to destroy, not God. 
God has used sickness, but Jesus didn't put sickness on anybody when he came. He, he healed. The work of God is to heal. And we, being in the image of God, are here to carry out his work, to continue his work. The gift of healing is what the gifts given in the Bible. So, when we're struck with this disease, this nasty disease, do not be overcome with the evil. Overcome evil with good. Every one of us has gifts to give us. Others. Mine is I have a lot of opinions, and I like to talk, and I like to encourage. You have them too. Whether you have a list or not, you have gifts. And when you get struck with the evil, don't. Let it take you out. But turn around and overcome it with good. That same chapter says to rejoice in hope. It's taken me a long time to get to the point where I can rejoice in hope. It's like easy to rejoice in hope that you'll be healed from this disease. I honestly can say it out that I do. I feel hopeful because I rejoice in it. Because you don't feel it, keep trying, keep seeking, you will find. It might take you three and a half years like me. But be stubborn. <laughs> The start of that chapter says to offer your bodies as living sacrifices to God. I stand before God with my palms up, my arms out. This is me. This is my body. And he will do with it what he wants. And if that is healing me, praise Lord, if I don't get healed before death, I will praise the Lord. But I offer this body to him, that I pray that you will be able to do the same. But the one last verse I'll leave you with from the same chapter, right before the one that says to rejoice and hope, get patient. Good tribulation, tribulation. Get to be constant in prayer. Right before that, I said, "Don't be slothful. Get zeal, but be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord." I. Need that encouragement because I feel so often get sloth. Sloth. <laughs> I'm not always zealous. So may you and I both be zealous. Soon, I will have a, bit, a computer to talk for me, that you will be able to understand me better. But for now, thank you for your patience. 
be a way to get you my next update. Blessings. Bye.